third public hearing is an ordinance to amend and reenact to chapter seven of the Thibodeau City Code of Ordinances is create section 7-34 indecent exposure. Indecent. Hi, good evening. My name is Amory Bucho. I reside at 111 North Pelham Street. I totally disagree. I feel I also have rights. I know nothing can be done. You know, you're not gonna pull people over to check see if their pants are sad. But when they're gonna walk in front of my house and the pants is gonna be beneath right here, and I have grandkids that may have to see this, and also myself at my age, I really think it's inappropriate. By not doing anything. Alpha <coughs> 113 Cedar Street, I've had some photos of you guys that if we that we could address if this ordinance passes because when we began to address morality and style, we opened the door to many interpretations of what morality is and what's not. The beauty of this country is the ability to express ourselves without fear of retribution by government. I would hope that you would consider this ordinance because I've always held this body to be a very level-headed group. The second pants fashion, while I don't agree with it, doesn't really hurt anyone. Laws and ordinances should be enacted to protect the public or to punish criminal activity. Correlation between sagging pants and criminal activity, nor is there a correlation between sagging pants and violence in general, nor a correlation between sagging pants and low grades. The only correlation appears to be sagging pants and people not liking the fashion statement. As far as law enforcement is concerned, there's other things they can focus on. Ladies and gentlemen, please vote the sagging pants ordinance down when enforced, when enforced would only lead to greater division in our community. Thank you. No, that's not the plumbing. That's the other thing. I was contacted by the plumbers union. <laughs> <laughs> they asked you guys not to pass that because most of the plumbers would be arrested immediately. <laughs> Any saggy bag issue, uh, it's really, it's bad law. First of all, you really can't legislate morality. If we begin to do it, uh, what do we stop? I mean, we're talking about saggy bags today. Uh, a few years ago, they talked about hip huggers. Um, so we've got to be cautious about doing that. We get into people's personal lives. The beauty of the United States is that we have the freedom to say what we want to say, to wear what we want to wear, to do what we want to do, as long as it doesn't infringe on the rights of other people. Saggy pants is really bad fashion. Okay, let's, let's be for real. Um, I don't like looking at people's underwear just like the next person. Uh, but the reality is uh, we've, this, we've gone through so many different fashion trends. Um, and there's a saying that says, saying that says what, what's old has become new again. So we're going to go through these cycles. Uh, so while I disagree with it, don't like the way it looks, um, it's kind of hard for me to impress that upon other people. You know, so I, I personally, do I think it's a problem? Mm, yeah. But do I think that we should put people in jail for it? No. One of the things we can do is ignore it, is leave it alone. Uh, you'll find that a lot of times when people wear things or do certain things, the more you push at them, the more you give them uh, problems, they rebel. And I think sagging pants may have been an issue that has been long gone, except for the fact is that we keep bringing it up about sagging pants. And so as retaliation and retribution and just being rebellious, people just keep wearing it. The biggest thing is leave it alone, let it die out. We should be more concerned about, it get, about getting test scores up than about getting people's pants up.